Welcome to a new video here at the workshop, my name is Malik. Today we will be reviewing a new video on a topic that once seemed complicated, but today it is easy and quite simple, and therefore we will now format your computer without any problems, and your result, you will receive a new computer. As if you bought it in store. And so, today we will take a few simple steps that everyone can do, please follow me step by step, and we will succeed. Most likely, there are personal photos, videos, and documents on your hard drive. When cleaning the hard drive, all this will be lost, so before you begin the process, you need to back up your personal files and save them to an external drive. You can use any flash drive, for this purpose you can even use your phone or a regular USB flash drive. You can also place your files on your cloud drive. If you plan to give or sell your computer to someone else, you will need to unlink the computer from your Microsoft account. To do this, open Settings, then, Accounts, and in this window, click, here to go to your profile on the Microsoft website. Here you need to select the device, and click, View Details. In this window, click, Remove this device. Then check the box. Click, Remove, and your computer will be unlinked from your Microsoft account. I won't do that and will just close my browser. The whole process takes quite a long time and if you are doing this on a laptop, please connect your laptop to a power source. And so, before you give your computer to someone else, you should back up your files to another drive, then disconnect the computer from your Microsoft account and thoroughly format all the drives on the computer. You will learn how to do careful formatting a little later and if you are ready to start the formatting process, then let's get started in open settings, Then, Update Security, click, Recovery. If you click Get Started, the process will begin in Windows 10 to go to Advanced Settings, I click, Restart Now. The computer will reboot and enter the System Recovery Environment. The main menu of the System Recovery Program opens, click, Troubleshoot. Click, Reset This PC. If you do not want to leave personal files, then click, Remove All, and the computer will restart again. In this window, you can choose to download Windows files from the cloud, this requires a constant internet connection and can use more than 4 GB of data. A local reinstall uses the Windows files of this computer, but if you think that some files on the computer may be damaged or infected with a virus, then it is better for you to choose the first option. I choose a local reinstall. Here you can choose to format only the C drive, and if there are other drives on the computer, the data on the other drives will not be deleted. A complete formatting of the computer will occur if I select, All Drives, and I click, All Drives. Perhaps after formatting you want to keep the computer for yourself, then click, Just remove my files. But if you give or sell your computer to another person, then you need to choose to carefully format all disks, and although this process will take more time, the other computer owner will not be able to recover your data even with the help of special programs. I choose fully clean the disk. In this window, you need to carefully read what changes should happen to your computer, and if you want to change anything or postpone this process, click, Cancel. To reset this PC, click, Reset and the reinstallation of Windows 10 on your computer will begin. For a while you do not need to do anything, the computer will automatically restart several times. Please do not turn off your computer. The Windows installation is coming to an end and now we have to add some settings. Select your region. Now the keyboard layout. Skip. Here you must accept the Microsoft license terms. I will choose Windows for home use, you can choose something else, next. 
Here you can sign into your account or get a new Microsoft account. But if you plan to give away or sell your computer, then you need to log into Windows without registering on the Microsoft website, under a local account. The new owner of the computer can then easily delete this account and get a new account on their own. To log into the new Windows 10 with a local account, click Offline Account. Name your account whatever you want, I choose a neutral name. Next. Here you need to enter a password, but to sell your computer you don't need to do this, just leave the space for the password empty and after another person turns on the computer, Windows 10 will boot without a password, next. The remaining settings will be completed by the future owner of the computer. Windows welcomes us, there is very little time left. Yes. Reinstallation of Windows 10 completed successfully. I hope everything went well for you too. Here we see that there is not a single shortcut on the desktop for programs that used to be in the old Windows, now they are all completely removed. I open this PC. On Drive C there is the new Windows 10, and Drive D is completely empty and carefully formatted. Let's open Settings, then Accounts. In this window we can see that my computer is controlled by a local account, the new owner can delete this account, then get another account and give it his name, and can also sign into the new Windows 10 with a Microsoft account. To sign into your Microsoft account, you need to click here. Now let's look at activating the new Windows 10, return to the main settings menu, then open update and security, and open the activation tab. And here we see that the new Windows 10 Pro was automatically activated during the Windows reinstallation process. It turns out that you can sell your computer with a new and activated Windows 10 Pro. This concludes my lesson and I hope that what I told was interesting for you. If you found this helpful, please share my video with anyone. Good luck!